Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to share with you what I believe to be the best 18 apps for Windows 11. Now let's start with the operating system Windows 11. Have you started to using it or are you still on Windows 10? Nothing wrong with each of them. Great, I will leave a link down below for Windows 10 or Windows 11 at a great price. I purchased a Windows 11 Pro retail license that unlike other licenses that we have seen, this one can be transferred to another computer. I used a discount coupon code created for the channel that you guys may use as well. The amount spent was refunded so that I could test out this platform. Now the activation was smoothly and everything worked fine as expected. Now once we have the operating system working right over here we will start with the browsers and to me there are a lot of great browsers but I always tend to use two of them which are Chrome and Firefox. In my opinion these are the best in the market although the others are great these are the ones that I tend to use. They are fast, they are simple, synchronization between every single device that we have in my particular case Windows, iPhone, Android, Mac OS, iOS so I've got everything synchronized between all my devices either on Firefox and also on Chrome. They also have extensions and add-ons and a lot and maybe because they are probably the two most used browsers in the world there is a huge community that contributes to those extensions and to those add-ons which make those browsers even better than what they already are. Now moving to a simple tool 7-zip. Once we need to compact or discompact a, any file then my favorite tool is 7-zip. It's free, easy to use and it will recognize all the files that we need. Another great tool is Microsoft Office. I will leave also a link down below so that you guys can check out great prices for the Office 2021, for example, Professional Plus that we can activate really easy as we have seen in some videos as well. And there will be a coupon code for B&H which has some great prices and also a discount. Now, besides that, Microsoft Office, in my opinion, is just a great tool, especially Word, Excel and PowerPoint which are the tools that I tend to use most on my day not only here but also on teaching I always end up using this now if you want a free alternative my feedback is that open office is a great tool so if you haven't tested that out just test it it's free it's open source you can use it and then if you don't like it for any reason then if you want to go back to office from microsoft and great now for mail i'm a bit picky and i'm a mac user most of the time and as a mac user i tend to use an app called air mail on my mac and on my ios devices on windows i tend to use the simplest tool possible which is the mail app that comes with windows which is really easy to use it's free it's built in on windows 10 or on windows 11 so just a great tool there are a lot of apps for windows to manage mail but honestly this is the one that i use when i'm on my windows laptop or on my windows computer cloud storage is something that it's necessary these days at least in my opinion and my favorite service is google drive although i use other services which are equally great one drive dropbox icloud drive some of them i've got play paid plans and some of them i use for free i don't need more than what i get on a free plan but on iCloud Drive for example I do have a paid plan with 200 gigabytes. One other solution that we can ponder is if the cloud storage is too expensive or not enough for what you need then there is a solution that I did grab for the Portuguese video that I was recording. If you haven't watched and if you want to see me speaking in Portuguese then just search Roberto George on YouTube and you'll find two channels. This one right over here and one in Portuguese. This is the latest Acer store. This is a network storage solution that we can put on our home and we can do a lot of it not only to store documents but if you find that google drive icloud drive onedrive dropbox and things like that are just not enough then here you will have full control of your own cloud you can access from anywhere in the world and this is a great option just in case you want to check that out i will leave a link down below photo editing now there are a lot of apps for this task and 
these days we do it mostly on our phone than on our computer but i still use a lot of my computer to edit videos and edit photos and one free app which is great i've been using it for quite some time is adobe photoshop express now it's simple to use it's free and you will have a lot of presets which we can adjust to get the perfect picture to our needs and this is just awesome we don't want to waste too much time we don't want to learn new tools so photoshop express is just great it's not a lightroom it's not a conventional photoshop but in my opinion for most case scenarios is more than enough for our needs screen recording is also a tool that i use on a daily basis actually this video is based on screen recording which i did on my windows computer but regardless of the operating system the tool that i use is obs which is a great tool, not only to record the screen, but also to be able to stream videos to any social platform in a really easy manner. Now we can record the screen, but we can also grab content from any webcam or something like that, that we want to record multiple cameras. It's just a awesome, awesome software and it's free. If you haven't tried it out, uh, I will not leave a link down below, but you can check for OBS and it will be very easy. Now, before we move on to video editing, there is a piece of software which I love, which is Adobe After Effects. It's not free, but it's completely worth it, especially for those that want to learn a tool or already know how to work. And if you want to design projects from scratch, then we will take time, but it's a great tool. I really enjoy to create my own templates, which I have quite a few on my portfolio. But for someone that doesn't have time, but knows how to manage Adobe After Effects, can just get a free template or a paid template and then in a matter of a few minutes just get a custom work in a fast way really really beautiful so after effects is one of the best tools that i know that will do this kind of work of course there are other softwares that will treat 3d objects and things like that but after effects working in 2d animation working in getting better image from your footage and also transforming templates that are already made it's just great with that said let's go for video editing which is a little bit easier and my favorite tool is final cut pro 10 on a mac os machine and it's my favorite simply because it is fast to render and it's really easy to use now there are some great tools like adobe premiere for example davinci resolve and a few others but Filmora 11 is just awesome. I've been testing Filmora for quite a few years and they just released uh, about a month ago or so the Filmora 11. I did share my review with you and they had a feature which I was requesting for quite some time which is the audio sync between several angles which is just awesome. It's now available on the Filmora 11 version which was in the past only available on the Pro version so just great now if we want to view the videos that we did record then there are a lot of players but my favorite one is vlc it's a great player if you haven't tested out then test it it will recognize any video format that we can imagine it's just simple works really nice if we want to do video conferencing then also there are a lot of tools zoom and so on and so forth but my favorite tool is microsoft teams and when we had this covid um, situation for the first time and the transition from school on the presential to the digital i was one of the persons in charge on my school to make this shift and microsoft teams was my favorite tool to do this task which i still use so any video conferencing that i need to do and i'm the person that chooses the platform then my favorite platform is microsoft Teams. then we have the my phone app which is just a awesome app and i do feel that it has more or less the same features probably a few more or different than we have on mac os with ios which is a great connection in terms of ecosystem now with this app we are talking about a windows computer and an android phone and the experience is just awesome i was using the samsung s20 fan edition and we can basically use our computer to access our phone i can use apps i can browse the pictures that i've got on my phone i can edit those pictures i can do everything like i was on my phone without connecting cables without connecting anything i just need to be connected to the network and it will work 
great. If you want to do all this while listening to music, then my favorite platform is Spotify. There's a free version, there is a premium version. I've tried both and I'm okay with a free version with a few commercials here and there, nothing special. It has some great playlists and most of the time I use it while I'm doing some sports, but I also enjoy to use here on the office, for example, where I've got a better speaker connected to my computer, just a great experience. Now, if we want to leave music aside and watch a movie, for example, then my favorite platform is Netflix. I do have other services like HBO and Amazon Prime and also Disney Plus. They are all great. But uh, talking about me and also my family members, what, what happens is that we all tend to use more Netflix than any other platform. If you ask me what is the reason, I'm not really sure to explain. Probably by logic would be the content. This will depend, but Netflix is our choice for online online content view. Now, if we are talking about organizing a offline library at home, offline that we can turn online as well, then my favorite software is Kodi. We can do a lot. It's a versatile tool that will organize all our library in a very simple way. I've done quite a few videos in the past regarding Kodi, so if you want to search here on the channel for code, you will find tutorials on how to create a Kodi server so that you can, for example, start to watch a movie uh, on one device, an Android TV box, for example, and then stop that movie, go to your bed, and then keep on watching on another Android TV box or a mini Windows computer or something like that, then you will be able to do all that with Kodi, which is also a great tool in terms of compatibility. We can install almost any operating system. Now, I also want to mention right over here Plex and Ambi, which are two of my favorite tools as well, but they work in a different manner. So if you, by any reason, don't like Kodi, my suggestion would be Plex or Ambi, which also work really, really great. And for example, if we have our library on a network attached storage solution such as this one that we have seen before, the Asus store right over here, then we can have a lot of content and we can stream to any device at home and we can also stream on our mobile. Gaming is something that I love, but I don't have much time to play games. But the service that I use the most is Xbox. Game Pass Ultimate, which is just an awesome service. I've got this subscription for more than one year and a half, two years more or less. I did get it for the first time when I did purchase a Xbox S for my kids and I did decide, okay, this console will have all the content online, so I will subscribe this. But besides having that content on the Xbox S, we also have on the PC. And if we use the cloud gaming, we will have available, as we did some videos right over here on the channel, on our Android TV box, on our phones. I also have uh, services like Steam uh, Epic Games, where we have our Fortnite, and not only Ubisoft Plus, which is another service that I use, not as much as the Xbox. And there are a few more. Finally, to wrap up this video, uh, I've got Instagram app right over here, which is one of the platforms that I use most after YouTube, but Instagram is just here to recognize one of the areas, which is the social network. And to me, it's better to use these kind of apps on a app than using it on a browser. The experience is completely different and I do prefer an app than a browser. Instagram, for example, to do everything that I do on a phone, on a computer, we actually need the app or else the experience is not the same. And guys, this is it. It's a longer video than I wanted to share with you, but these are the 18 plus apps that I do believe that are the best for 2022, at least in my point of view. But I would love to hear your comments down below. Which apps do you use? Besides these right over here, do you have any favorite, any app that you really, really need on your daily basis? I would love to hear that comment. That being said, I hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.